Hi, why are you yelling? I get I get hyped up a lot. Why are you screaming? Calm why, down. Why are you why are you talking so quietly? Why because he's screaming. I don't like the way you're screaming. I don't like the way you're talking quietly. <laughs> well, I'm here to talk. Yeah. To talk. Well, my question I have for you is why is Islam the most growing religion in the world now? Why do people convert or revert to Islam every day? I will be glad to answer that question. So, and number one, said, when it, you had, so it's kind of two parts. Why is Islam the fastest growing religion? Number one, yeah, the fastest. I, I, I see you. Guys I'm about to arguing. answer you. I'm about to answer okay. you. Okay. The reason why it's the fastest growing religion is because of birth rates. Because Muslim men have multiple wives and have children with these reborn. multiple wives. I said reborn. And, I didn't say well, well, that, well, that's the first thing. So I just want you to know that according to the Pew Research that says that Islam is the fastest growing religion, also mm -hmm. according to that same research, it's not due to conversion. It's due to birth rates. Now, when you ask why are people converting to Islam... I Pretty think, hard. yeah. Well, um, yeah. People people convert to Islam. People are also leaving Islam by by bunches. Um, but why wow. do people convert to Islam? I've never is seen because... anyone leaving Islam. Huh? I've never seen anyone leaving Islam. Really? I see people coming to Islam. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you, should, you, should, you, should, you should. You should. You should. You should. check my. You should check out my YouTube channel. That's I, the I, question. I, yeah. I literally just had last month. I literally just had a Muslim female leave Islam live. You you missed it. It's on my YouTube channel. If you want to see it. It's called wow. Female Muslim Accepts Christ. So you probably didn't get the question. Listen, hmm? I said, why do people take the Shahada every day? Is the growing, like people taking the Shahada every day, is the growing, like they do it every day. People don't go back to Christianity every day like people go into What are you Islam talking about? Every day. The yeah. number, the, I mean, the difference, it's like the numbers. Yeah. I think I think that you've probably been living like in a cave or something because you just like do not know what's going on around you. People leave it. <laughs> if you say people join Islam every day, which is true, like people are joining the religion, people are also leaving the religion at the same pace. They're leaving. They are leaving Islam at the same pace, according to that Pew Research. Uh uh. Uh uh. That's your that's your argument. Nah uh. No, uh -huh. Google it right now. I, I I know you have computer right in front of you. Just check how why do people or how many people revert to Islam every day and how how, many how, how about this? How, how, how about this? Christianity every day. How about, you can how, see the numbers. How, how about this? How about you tell me why it is that you believe Islam is true so that we can actually get to the root of this conversation? Why Islam is true? Mm hmm because give me one it's good a true reason. religion <laughs> because it's a true religion Why and then i'm gonna give you two or three points okay okay give, give me give me just if, give me if, give me one we'll do one at a time give me one one, one point. at a time yeah. okay because the quran hasn't changed all right boom but your bible but my bible has changed more than how many times uh oh okay you tell me how many times she got us y'all boom islam is true and christianity is false you guys yeah. have too many bibles this book the quran hasn't changed since when it came from the prophet muhammad sallam, to us is that so from so? allah, from allah mm. to the prophet Mm. to us okay all right cool it hasn't changed nothing changed i hear you no I, word I, I hear you sis i hear but, you I hear yeah you. but look at your book i hear look you at your book. every hear day you. people change it the jew change you. it and then you guys say oh the jews uh uh unalive our uh, uh, jesus and then you still follow what they write in your bible mm. yeah wow yeah, who changed the Bible every day? The Jews. The Jews changed the Bible every yeah, day. Yeah, the Jews. Yeah, poor, the poor Jews. Jews always, there, always, to, always catching, the always then, catching. Uh, Jews, Jews always catching the strays, man. Sorry, my Jewish, my Jewish. Why family. can't you talk about that? You never talk about. Okay, I have. Wait, wait, wait! Stop, you. stop! You said something. Okay, so remember, <laughs> we said we're gonna go one point at a time, right? Why do you always argue? Why do you reasons? always talk when I'm talking? Okay. Oh, no, I can talk when you're talking, but I can give no, you a chance like, to let's, talk. Let's have a conversation. Is that okay? Okay. Conversation is good. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you said the re one of the reasons that you said that Islam mm -hmm. is true is because the Quran has never been changed. So let me That's ask you this. Them. Let me ask you this before I even dive into the subject. Okay. If the Quran had been changed, would that mean that Islam is false? 
it, say it again. Sorry, what did you say? If the Quran had been changed, would uh -huh. that prove that Islam is false? Not necessarily. Okay, so then saying that Islam is true because the Quran's never it's been changed. Because... Wait, wait, please. Okay. So saying that the saying that Islam is true because uh -huh. the Quran has never been changed that is not is not a reason why Islam is true. Because if that is, listen, yeah, listen carefully. Yeah, yeah, okay, true. okay, it's not a reason. Yeah. Okay, cool. But yeah, I, I still wanted not... to show you. I still wanted to show you this. Okay, I, I yeah. thanks. I understand where you're at now, but I still want to show you this. This is Sahih Muslim, and let me uh, change my. Let me actually put it over here so you guys so you can see it. Whoops. Okay. So let me go ahead and hold on. Let me share my screen so that everybody can be with me while I share this with the sister. Okay. All right. Let me put this on for you. Flip my camera, turn this off here. Okay, can you see the screen? Yeah, I can see. Okay, so this uh, yeah. mm -hmm, this is Sahih Muslim. Who's calling me, bro? Oh my god, everyday Sahih Muslim. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I know it's tough. Can you hear me? Why didn't you bring the Quran? Can you hear me? Well, I mean, we're talking about the <laughs> say, okay. we're talking about the Quran being changed. So, so. what is it? Oh no, because it's off. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So it says here, Amrav reported that she heard Aisha discussing... Oh my God, Aisha again. Okay. <laughs> are you are you, are you a Sunni Muslim? I am a Muslim. I was born a Muslim. Uh, Muslim, yeah. Are you Sunni though? Are you Sunni? I'm Sunni, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Just making sure, okay? Because it sounds like yeah. you don't... You, you cool with Aisha or you got, a, you got beef with Aisha? No, I don't. I totally believe in... Um, the wife of Prophet Muhammad so yeah I'm Sunni yep yep okay. go ahead all right, just I just it. hear you a lot of you you see Aisha all the time you see why did the Prophet marry her when she was six that's the argument every day and yeah yeah we're not we're not I'm not yeah I'm not talking today I'm not talking okay, about okay, okay. I'm not talking about Muhammad sleeping with her when she was nine and had and when she had her dolls that's not what I'm talking about today and the Muslims already cleared that to you, but you still, still don't want to take it. But go ahead. Yeah, they cleared it up that at that time, this nine-year-old was magically a, a grown woman like she was 21. Yeah. That's the, okay, that's what's in front of you now. You you, be, you believe that? You believe that at, that at nine, she was like a 21-year-old woman playing with dolls? Well, he's a prophet, so he, I mean, he can, he can know what we can't know, so. He's a prophet, so he can sleep with little girls because we don't know better. He knows what, what we cannot know, so, I mean, that's okay for yeah, him, so yes. He, yeah, he knows that for him, uh, it's okay to sleep with a little nine-year-old because. Right thing, he, though. Huh? He, he did the right thing, I, I can guarantee you he did the right thing. You think he I did promise. the right thing by sleeping with a nine-year-old? Yeah, that's his wife. Why not? Wait, wait, say that one more time. That's his wife. He did the right thing. If you have a wife, what do you do with her? <laughs> if you have a wife, what do you do with her? He just did, he just did, gonna look at her all day? That's it? He, okay. He did the <laughs> he did the right thing by sleeping with the little nine year old after you married. That's her? his wife. I don't I don't know what they did together, but that's his wife. Oh yeah, you can, I can show you what they did together. There were times where well, he let's do what what's in front of you now. Let's finish that and then we can jump into that. Okay. I'm I'm in I'm ready for you. I mean, anything you want to bring up? That's disgusting. Just letting you know. Like, I, I'm that, ready for you. That's Go pretty, ahead, That's sir. pretty sick, man. That's pretty sick, but okay. Wow. All right. So it says, Aisha was discussing fosterage, which makes marriage unlawful. And she said, there was revealed in the Holy Quran 10 clear sucklings and then five clear sucklings. Can you, uh, can you show me? where this verse is in your Quran about five clear sucklings that make a marriage unlawful? Well, we haven't finished my question first and then you just jumped on the... No, this is, this is about the Quran being changed. So this, Aisha says that this is in the Quran. So can you like open your Quran and show me where can, this is? Can you, can you move me very closer? Because I, 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 I can't see. Okay. Okay, I can check. I don't know. I mean, can I? Can you? Can you? 
can you give me you want some time go do my research and come back because i i can just do it right now right now yeah but if you can give me time i can promise you that i'm gonna go look it up and then i'll come back with my evidence okay okay if that's really in the quran yeah i mean like you said yes and i do believe that that if that says it's in the quran then i will definitely go in there and then check it and then come back with okay the answer. all right i'll, I'll still be yeah. here so, so as, as soon as you, for you uh, wait 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 how do you have a question for me when you have homework my question is why do you always come for muslims because it's, muslims it's are lost only, uh, listen listen i just i just important. told you it's simple because, because muslims are lost yeah, it has something to do with that thing that you just read by now. Okay, so the question I have for you is, why do you always, oh, is it Islam that is the only religion that you beefing with or with Jews religion? I, I, I beef with everyone who, Jews, I beef with everyone. Did you ask me, did you want the answer or no? Believe, why, do, why do you ask me a question and then, why do you ask me a question and then not want an answer? Huh? Why do you ask me a question and then talk when I'm answering you? I thought you was trying to uh, uh, cut me off, but I didn't finish the question. You did. You talking. asked me, why do I come for Muslims? And then when I'm answering that, you interrupted me and asked another question. Do I, am I against, do I have beef with Jews or, or is it just and Muslims? You talk about so here's your, here's your answer. Here's your answer. Here's your answer. Okay, go ahead. I'm against whoever is against Christ. Muslims are against Christ. What about the Jews? Um, Jews who reject the Messiah are against Christ. <laughs> Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons are against Christ. Hinduism against Christ. So whatever raises itself against Christ, I have but beef I with. Never did you talk about this religion. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It so does. now, so now, so now, now that you got your answer, oh. go do the homework. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> Hurry back. Find find these verses in the Quran. Find these um, verses in the Quran, and I'll and then and then we can talk. Something to do with Islam. You just don't like Islam, but there are a lot of religions, out, beliefs out there that that are arguing with your religion. I, I don't. Like, I don't, don't want to be rude to you. I don't want to be rude to you, but I'm going to remove you so that you can go do your homework. Okay. Oh, you can remove me all you want, but this is a very tough one for you, and you couldn't I, answer I, I, it, I so that's is. why you're trying go to run away. Go do go do your homework. Yeah, you're trying to run away. I bet. Go do your homework and come okay, back. Bye. She's the one who said she's going to go do homework and come back. And now she's saying I'm running away for sending her on her merry little way to do homework. Adabila! Adabila, Shaitan regime. <laughs>